Hello friends, now we will see the FMD modulators. In this one, we are going to learn about the balance loop detector. There are certain requirements for the FM demodulation process. The first requirement is that it must convert frequency variation into amplitude variations. The second it is the conversion must be linear and efficient. Now we will see the diagram, circuit diagram of this uh, balance loop detector. Here FM it is applied at the input fm as the input now the transform across this transformer the secondary side of this transformer is it is center tap so resulting into the voltage v01 across the upper primary and v02 across the lower primary now we can have the output expression v0 equal to v01 minus v02 now looking into the circuit diagram the two slope detector are looks like connected back to back the two slope detectors connected back to back due to the use of the center tap secondary the input voltages to this slope detectors are 180 degree out of phase so there are three tuned circuits out of which the primary is tuned to the FC that is center frequency. The upper tune circuit of this secondary side is tuned a particular frequency that is above the FC. We called it as the FC plus del F. Okay. The lower tune circuit it is tuned at the particular frequency somewhat lower than that of the FC. We term it as the FC minus del F. Okay, uh, now the R1 C1 here the combination of the R1 and C1 and R2 C2 R2 and C2 are used to filter out the RF ripple and the final voltage we are getting here it is V01 minus V02. Now we have the three condition. Let us assume that F in input frequency it is equal to the center frequency. What happens when the input frequency is instantaneously equal to FC, the induced voltage into the T1 that is transformer 1 winding of secondary, it is exactly equal to induced voltage into the secondary. Thus, the input voltages to both diode D1 and D2 are same. Hence, the DC output voltage V01 and V02 will be identical. Hence, net voltage, we can write here the net voltage V01 or we can say the V0 that is equal to 0 because V01 and V0 have, V02 have 180 degree out of phase. Hence, they cancel out each other and output voltage V0 it is equal to 0. Now, the second case, FC which is less than F in and which is less than Fc plus del F. Let us see what happens. In this range of input frequency, the induced voltage in the winding T1, it is higher than that of the T2. Hence, input voltage to diode D1, it is higher than the diode D2. Hence, the positive output voltage V01 will be higher than that of the V02. Therefore, the output voltage V0 is positive. But how much it is positive? That is, as the input frequency increases toward Fc plus del F, the positive output voltage increases. Now, here we will see the part. We can write here Fc plus del F. Okay. Third case. Fc minus del F which is less than F in and which is less than Fc. In this case, 
the induced voltage in winding T2 it is higher than that of the T1. Hence, the voltage to the diode D2 it is higher than that of the D1. And the negative output V02 V02 in this case it is higher than that of the V01. Hence, the output voltage to the balance load detector is negative. Here, it is going to the negative frequency range. Negative frequency range we can write here Fc minus del F. Okay. The negative voltage increases as F in goes to closer to this one. Here, it is the maximum value of the negative voltage when it reaches to the Fc minus del F. Now, about the slope detection of that. The slope detection is it looks linear but it has certain disadvantage also that it is more difficult to tune as the three tune circuit in the three tune circuit at three different frequencies amplitude limiting here it is not provided and even though we are saying that the linearity is good enough, but linearity is not that much good enough so this is all about the balance loop detector thank you for watching